fellas, I'm so hyped about NCAA college football coming back. I'm terrible at video games, but this one, I could actually play. And I started back when it was Bill Walsh and it had student body right, student body left, and like Fred was playing on the game. Like that, that was when my time, but Arch Manning, uh, the Texas Longhorn backup quarterback, decided not to opt into the game. And they just reported that over 10,000 of the 11,000 eligible players have already opted in. You think about Arch Manning and what that name means. What do you think about him saying, not right now, I don't want to play. I'm more focused on playing on the field first. Man, it's the family legacy, ain't it? Didn't his uncle, didn't Eli say, I'm not being a charger? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they get to make decisions like that because they're the Mannings. Their daddy's a Hall of Famer. His brother's a bowler at Tennessee. We remember coming out. Everybody knows Peyton. Everybody knows Eli. We know what it is. I remember how mad I was. I was already in the league with some, a lot of my homeboys at Florida when they announced that we were going to get back pay for the other the college football games we play. You're going to get this check. I knew dudes that thought they were about to get sacks. Man, you know they paying us for them years. I remember being on threads with they paying us for the years. Bro, they gave us $200 a year. Out of them millions upon millions they made, we made $200 a year for our name and likeness on that. So if you got, I say it, if you got the swag and if you got the name like a man name, <clears throat> and you say, I don't want to do it, man, all respect to little arts. Man, your, da- your granddaddy, your daddy, your uncles, all them, who they are, man, hell, arts, do what the hell you want to. Yeah, I think, uh, one, is his decision. I don't have a problem with it. But you would think that, you know, a, a teenager, what, he's 18, 19, second-year player, um, you would think these are things that you've dreamt about, right? To, to be able to be in a video game and have an opportunity to kind of, when you play with your buddies in the dorm room and all this different stuff, play against each other using yourself. You know, whether you're a starter or not, that's an opportunity. You have to put yourself in the game and, and, and play, right? So, you know, I, for me, man, I, I just think it's a, uh, I, I would have done it differently, obviously. I, I needed the money, mm-hmm. so I would have been in the game. And even aside from the money, honestly, just to be a part <clears throat> of it. Like, there's something I, I, it's fun, man. I was a gamer. Like, this is, I want to see myself in the game. So, I can look at it multiple ways. You said that's the man in legacy, you know, making those decisions getting out in front of everything, trying to be trendsetters in those capacities. But then on the flip side, you know, that's, it kind of goes away. But when you hear a Caleb Williams say, look, I want to do differently. I want ownership. I want equity in the team when I'm drafted. He gets scrutinized by even trying to be a, a, a trendsetter or someone, not a trendsetter, but a pioneer. Mm-hmm. Change, changing the game, changing the way the business of the, uh, of the business of the business is handled. So. I, I don't know, man. That that name is bulletproof, though. Like, it's it's not a problem when it's that name. Yeah. And, and I love Archie, Eli Payton, and that, they they've earned the right to kind of make their moves and dictate how they want to move and do things. Uh, but again, it's certainly bulletproof. Yeah, I think the difference between Arch Manning and a lot of those other kids is based off of what you see, based off of how you've grown up your goals and dreams are different. His father, Cooper, was extremely talented, an extremely talented wide receiver who had a neck injury, right? But you know that your grandfather, Archie, is one of the greatest players that ever played for the New Orleans Saints. They just had a bad team around him. He was talented. Peyton Manning is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Eli Manning is going to be a Hall of Famer after beating Tom Brady twice in the Super Bowl. And so his dreams are different. His cash flow is also different, though. Not only based on how he grew up and who he grew up around, but based on the fact of what he can make in NIL. The picture that stands out to me is at the Sugar Bowl for the college football playoff, Quinn Ewers, who is the starting quarterback, is sitting at his little podium to do media, and everybody's around Arch Manning. And my first thought was, it's in New Orleans, of course those people are but he's still the backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's his life. That was his life at Isidore Newman High School. And the other part of it is too, Fred Taylor, as great as he was, wasn't going to change the college football game. If people were gonna play that game and wanna play with Fred Taylor, it was because Fred Taylor could run a 4-2. 
they're going to want to play with the Texas Longhorns and put Quinn Ewers on the bench and Arch Manning in the game because of his last name. Mm -hmm. Him being on that game is more important to EA than EA being important to Arch Manning. And that's the decision he made. Yep. And when part of your legacy is, no matter how you say it, Archie Manning, all class. Peyton Manning, all class. Eli Manning, all class. Cooper Manning, all class. You can't forget they orchestrated their way to the New York Giants. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't on the cachet or the entitlement that Eli Manning had built at Ole Miss. It was because of the last name, because of Archie first, because of Peyton. And now you have all of that that's now on Arch Manning. The only thing I would say is this. I wonder how he balances his last name with being one of the guys. Quarterbacks always stick out. Quarterbacks are treated differently. Imagine being the quarterback of the Texas Longhorns and having the last name Manning. All I would ever want to do is fit in. All I would ever want to do is work out on the same racks as the running backs and the wide receivers. All I'd ever want to do is eat at the same table as those people. Because immediately on walking in, we all know who you are and everybody around campus knows. And so the only thing I would think was, could be, if maybe I sit down at the table and we have the conversation, I would tell my son or whoever it is, just maybe you should be a part of the game so everybody knows that you don't believe you're bigger than the other 11,000 or however many players are in the NCAA, especially the ones in your locker room.